barely two weeks after swearing in. See the abominable acts Tinubu's son did with lawmakers. That is shocking. My people, uh, you see, when you see uh, a rabbit, you will surely see the rabbit with an accomplice. Do you understand? When you see a father, definitely you know that he has a son. And when you see a son, you will know that this son definitely has a father because someone gave birth to him. And that is why we do say like father, like son. You see, Tunubu's son is not, is not uh, having any position in the office. He's just the son of the president. <laughs> you understand? But what he was spotted doing with lawmakers is something that one cannot be able to write him about. In fact, what he was spotted doing with the lawmakers, only those people who are in office can anyone say that uh, that uh, is capable of doing such a thing. He's acting as if he's occupying one department, one ministry. One, in fact, he's, he's acting as if he's even one of the commissioners. Let's check the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. Sheyi Tunubu, President Bola Tunubu's son, decision to invite elected lawmakers in the country to a private meeting isn't sitting comfortably with Nigerians. Tunubu's son called for the meeting of elected lawmakers ahead of their inauguration on Tuesday, 13th June 2023. One of the lawmakers who attended the meeting tweeted, Yesterday, I was invited to be part of a meeting organized to meet Nigerian first son Sheyi Tunubu, where he had an interface with young members of the 10th National Assembly members that will be inaugurated on Tuesday, 13th June 2023. Reacting Nigerians called out Mr. Tunubu's government, alleging that it is fast becoming a family business. Mm -hmm. I also want to erase the fact that elected lawmakers were invited to a meeting with first son, Sheyi Tunubu, uh, ample practically or they have sworn to be perpetually unfortunate. Whatever happens, we are reclaiming our mandate and President Tunubu's son won't be seen Sharing the Senate. Sports doctor commented, he said, Boris children never meddle with government. They only enjoy the goodies that came with their father's position, and that's it. But the unconstitutional administration is barely two weeks only, and the son of the unconstitutional president is already calling a meeting of elected lawmakers. My dear listeners, it is crazy. You see what I said in my introductory analysis. Who is Sheyi Tunubu? Is he a part of the government? Is he a part of the government? Is he occupying a ministry or a commission, a commissioning department? He is the son of the president. He should act like a son and stay where he is. He should be sitting down to be enjoying whatever comes through his father and not to be working as if he is part of the government. They aut automatically, they have turned this, uh, this, uh, this administration to be a, a, family, a family business. It means that, oh my God, my dear listeners, you can see what we are talking about, extortion. You can see what we are talking about, conspiracy. You can see that. My dear listeners, we don't enter, we don't enter, uh, we don't enter, a, a very big seat that, that we cannot be able that we find difficult to get ourselves out of 
You understand what I'm saying? We have entered a big ditch. <laughs> oh my god. My dear listeners, I would like to hear from you. Let's hear from you. Let's know what your take, what's your opinion, and what your idea on all that I've just been saying right now. Maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.